You've all heard us say that Fusion 360 lets you design differently, but what does that really mean? Well, to find out, Kurt, Tamara, and I hopped over to beautiful Chattanooga, Tennessee to meet a dude named Jeff, who's been using Fusion 360 to design, fabricate, and test all of his meticulously crafted BMX bike parts. Here's how his company is designing differently. Awesome. Well, we're here with Jeff Uber, owner of Back and Bikes. Jeff, tell me a little about your company. That's just a small part manufacturing company. Uh, we do something that's very unique, and that's uh, more like 3D ornate uh, style parts. Uh, BMX has been my passion since uh, since I started pedaling a bike when I was really young. I just I like the concept that I can uh, I can ride my bike to the store to get some skittles, or I can. Uh, Go jump it off a big mega ramp. Uh, you know, I can do whatever I want with it. When I got into BMX, I was like, "Hey, I could, uh, I could make these parts," and that's what got me in manufacturing is riding my bike. And, uh, I've been designing and making parts ever since, uh, almost 20 years now. BMX industry is really cool because it's not a competitive sport; it's a progressive sport. So I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, and I try to take that. Uh, from BMX and apply it to how I'm designing these parts. Yeah, I'm not looking to compete with other bike companies. I'm just looking to do something uh, different and progressive, something that pushes my designs a little, a little further. Uh, and that's the biggest uh, comment I get is your parts don't look like anything else. And that's the goal, you know. It's, uh, what led you to find us? Well, I wanted the uh, workflow, really, uh, because as someone that's running a small business, I'm running uh, probably eight different softwares, building websites, uh, doing photo, doing video, and it's all on my Mac. I would have to learn eight different softwares to be able to use all the cam softwares that are only available on a PC. So when I saw Fusion and it worked on a Mac, I said this solves my workflow issue because now I don't have to have another computer or to dual boot my Mac just to get to uh, render a 3D model. Now I can render the 3D model, put it on my website, and say this item is for sale next week. Well, as somebody mechanical, I was very interested in the tool path. I wanted to have really good, concise tool path and good model to uh, set up uh, association. Most cam systems, whenever you uh, whenever you create an operation, it's tied to specific geometry. But in Fusion, it's tied to the entire setup. So if I make a change, I don't have to go through every operation and update those. I can make one change and it, uh, it affects everything. Just that kind of model to uh, set up relationship is really fluid. And how long did it take you to get up to speed enough to be confident in the stuff that you're manufacturing? Um, I think, you know, within a few hours, I was already running apart. We, we had a cam system here. And it's very popular, but it wasn't, uh, it was way too slow. It processed too slow, it posted too slow, and when the program got to the machine, it would stutter. Uh, so I was like, well, I'm just going to incorporate Fusion with this project, and uh, it ended up being uh, much, much faster because it's, uh, it uses all the cores on the computer to render the, or calculate the tool path. So the other one would take an hour, literally an hour. To calculate the tool path, but with Fusion, it just took a couple of minutes. <laughs> I like integrating all the aspects of Fusion into my website, like like doing a 3D model. Like kids can come up there and they can actually like zoom in on different components on the bike on the website. It's a valuable tool because I got riders around the world that uh, that want me to uh, make a part that's to their liking. Uh, they're the pro rider; it's going to be their signature part. Um, so how do you communicate 3D over you know, thousands of miles? Well, I can send them a 3D model and they can open up their viewer and they can say, I like this, but I like the logo to be here. And can you change this kind of, you know, I like, I prefer this kind of stem where it's on the top and it's slanted here. And, uh, you know, now there's a lot of uh, dialogue that can happen, a lot of design enhancements, uh, just, you know, with communication. And I want to try to incorporate um, how I'm manufacturing these parts, the software that I'm using, so that other other industry, or not other industry, but other companies in the BMX industry could benefit from the technology. Fusion is a first class software. It's not something that's, uh, you know, it's not something for hobbyists uh, to tool around on. I mean, they can do that, but I would put it up against some of the best softwares I've ever, that I've used, that, that uh, you know, working in the aerospace field, um, you know, software was not an option. They could 
I mean, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a problem. They can get the best software in the world because you're programming parts that took hours and hours, and I wish I could go back and have Fusion because <laughs> it had better uh, 3D strategies, I think, than, than some of those uh, very elite softwares, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your pieces, <laughs> right? Try it. <laughs> Try it. It's, it's not as hard as you think. Here we are once again with Jeff Hooper, owner of Backhand Bites out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thanks again. Hey, enough talking. Let's go right. <laughs> Jeff designs differently because he sees how we're shaping the future of manufacturing and embraces change to better his workflow, his relationships, and how he runs his business. So if you're like Jeff, then hit us up, because we'd love to hear your story as well.